Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this. Now, if you read the title, you're probably like, yeah, right, this is just a scam. But I can tell you from experience, this thing works. In my opinion, this is the world's smallest DIY filter. Here's how you make it. For this project, you'll need a prescription bottle, glue, which can be hot glue or super glue, a plastic straw, and some filter media of your choice. Now, if I were making this to use in one of my tanks, I would probably use filter floss. But for the demonstration, I just use ripped up paper towel. But obviously, you can substitute this for any filter media of your choice. Now, when it comes to making this, it's extremely easy. So the first thing you have to do is clean out your prescription bottle. I clean mine about three times with soap and water as well as scrubbing it thoroughly to make sure that there's no harmful chemicals that'll go into my fish tank. After you're done with that, we can begin. Now your first step is going to be to drill a hole in the cap that's the thickness of your straw. This will prevent your straw from falling out as well as any air leakage that may occur. For the next step, you're going to want to drill a small hole all the way through the base of your straw. This will help your air distribute equally among your filter. For the next step, you're going to want to drill several holes in the prescription bottle itself. Now I just went around drilling holes wherever I thought was necessary, but you can do whatever you want. For the next step, you're going to want to drill holes in the cap. Now I drilled six holes that were somewhat equally spread apart. This will help create a really good vacuum and will be perfect for this filter. The last step is gluing your straw into place. Now this will work a lot better with hot glue, but like I said, you can also use super glue. The best way to do this is to glue the base of the straw, which has the two holes in it, to the base of your container. Now you're ready for your filter media. Now like I said, you can use any filter media you want. Now for this demonstration, I just used ripped up paper towel like I said earlier, but if you want to use this filter to its maximum potential, just replace it with filter floss. After you're done putting the filter media in the cartridge, all you have to do is just screw on the cap, put in your air hose, and you're good to go. I would personally recommend taping the air hose in place so that way it doesn't come out of your filter. If possible, have your filter completely vertical to prevent air from leaking out. Anyway, that's about it. If you enjoyed this DIY, make sure to hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. It only takes a couple seconds. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe too and turn on my notifications so you don't miss any future content. With that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day. Goodbye.